Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Friday, November 22nd, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You know the drill, you click on the link below the video, you get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, it is a great way to give DocSports a trial run. If you're not yet a member, click on the link below the video to get started and it's a free $60 account that comes with the Doc Sports guarantee. Check it out. Uh, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up. All right, well, here's what's going on last night. Two and one overall with all of our plays. We cashed here with the free pick, got off to a nice start for the weekend, the new weekend. College football is Georgia Tech jumped out big. They held on for the win and the cover over NC State. And uh, we've got that package that we talked about in football that's ready to go. We've got eight plays starting with Saturday's games, Sunday's games, and then Cole culminating with the Monday Night Football clash between the Baltimore Ravens and the uh, LA Rams. So you don't want to miss out. We start out on Saturday with our college football plays. We've got four up there right now. That includes the big eight unit play in college football. You know, I've been at Doc Sports now for a couple of seasons. We are 80% with our regular season eight unit football sides. We just won an NFL uh, last week with an eight unit play. We got our uh, college football eight unit going this Saturday part of the entire package all the plays still available. Uh, we have none going on Friday with the one game in the Mountain West between Colorado State and Wyoming. That's not part of it. So you'll get Saturday college football, including the eight-unit play. You'll get Sunday's NFL, including the six-unit play. And again, we'll finish up strong with the Monday night battle between the Ravens and Rams. In fact, part of this package in the NFL is the Sunday night game between the Packers and the Niners. Just happens that we're falling up, following, or I should say falling, on a couple of big marquee clashes in the NFL this week. So big weekend in store in football. 65% is the premium picks run in college and pro football combined over the past four weeks. And then don't forget about the CFL. The Great Cup goes on Sunday. Six unit play for us. Biggest one of the in, of the CFL postseason. And uh, we are 2-0 with our two bigger, uh, our other two big plays, which were five unit plays the last two weeks. Uh, the only other two weeks of the CFL playoffs. And now we've got a six unit play on the side on Sunday uh, as Hamilton and Winnipeg class for that CFL Grey Cup championship. It's available right now, as is college football in the NFL. And on Friday, I will have my NBA. We passed last night. There are only a couple of games we passed, but we're back at NBA action on Friday. And uh, we're hitting 59% with our last 99 NBA plays. That play will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm involved in NHL. Also, 1 p.m. Eastern post on Friday at DocSports.com. College basketball posts at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. They're all going to be available on Friday, all the sports. Uh, the only game we're not involved in is the Colorado State-Wyoming game in college football on Friday night. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to the free pick uh, for today, for tonight, and that is in the NBA. It's the battle between the Celtics and uh, the Nuggets being played in Denver. Uh, Boston blew in the other night. They had a chance to knock off the Clippers. They faltered down the stretch in regulation and then got outplayed and lost in overtime. But I like the way this team's playing. It's a very big team concept with the Celtics this year. Uh, no superstars on this team team and so everybody's come together playing well and this is when Brad Stevens is at his best when he's got a team like this with no superstar ego to have to stroke and uh, that's the team he's got this year so they're going to be playing good basketball all season long even with Hayward sideline right now with the injury and they're 11 and 3 on the season again uh, had the Clippers where they wanted him just couldn't finish off now tonight in Denver I expect to see a little bit of motivation on Boston's side after blowing that game as far as Denver is concerned, listen, they're playing great defense. Their defensive efficiency rating, top eight, top seven, but so is Boston's. And I know a lot of folks are making a big deal about the fact that Denver held Houston under 100 points in a recent game. And, and that's something, obviously, that you got to make note of. I mean, they really shut down Houston's offense. But the difference is, is that Houston is middle of the pack. They're like 15th or 16th in defensive efficiency, where Boston is right up there neck and neck with Denver. And Boston plays a decent brand on the offensive end as far as efficiency is concerned. So, listen, they go into this game against Denver. Denver's feeling good about everything. Boston feels like they let one go get away from them against the Clippers. And I think they're going to pull the outright upset on the road. We're 
we're going to recommend the Boston Celtics plus the points on Friday night over the Denver Nuggets. All right, again, don't forget about Friday. We've got NBA. We've got NHL. We've got college basketball. My football package for the entire weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, including the eight-unit college football play available right now at DocSports.com along with this weekend's CFL Grey Cup. Go grab it all over at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column. And as usual, I'll be back here probably around 10 p.m. Pacific on Friday, earlier than normal with Saturday's card and a free pick from Saturday's college football. We'll talk to you then.